everyone welcome back on this nice chilly Sunday it's Angela and want to welcome you to my channel so if you're new a very warm welcome and of course to all my lovely favorite people a very warm hello well I'm trying to keep warm and keep my fingers uh, warm and I've just taken off my gloves <laughs> the ones that go up to there which were really snugly but um, you can't craft so well with them so I thought well I have to just take them off for a while. Right, I'm here to share with you today something that I'm going to do for both of the journals that I'm working on. One of my favourite things to do, and I haven't actually done a video on this for a very long time, so I thought I'd share it with you. And it is to do with using those book pages up to make some beautiful envelopes to store things, whether it be in your autumn journal and all those little bits, maybe photographs, um, and things for your autumn or fall journal or of course those for Christmas as well. So whether it's um, like I said cards, photographs, tags, ephemera pieces, anything like that at all. Right so you're going to use any sorts of book pages. I've gathered a few here because each one of these sizes makes a different size little envelope. So this is just um, this size that uh, you can fold and make a small envelope and I, and I sometimes trim these down on the sides. Um, you could have old vintage and this is really old. Uh, this is an old dictionary I have. Um, it's a botanical one and it also makes great book pages so you don't have to have images of flowers of Christmas or autumn. You can make something as beautiful with just that. Um, you can have our lovely favourites, which is, a, this is an Edith Holden page, um, and this one doesn't have any pictures on, but I have folded it ready to go. Um, and then we do have the ones that do have images on, so this is like part of the December section for the Edith Holden. Um, we've got two of the same here. You can see this one has just... Um, text on this side and we love that text I really do and then on that side we have some just common ivy really but it makes a beautiful base for a Christmas scene so it doesn't have to be Christmassy based um, and then I've got some others that I've, I've got here so you know anything to do with this now I have made two and then I'm going to show you how I make another two so let's put that aside and here are two that I've made. So these are out of um, book pages, as I said. This is a Christmas one. And this is a lovely autumn or fall one. And I mean, it's just a book page. We've added our bits and pieces to it. Um, and we've made it really pretty. Now on this side for the autumn one, um, I quite like the autumn leaves shining through there. <laughs> I've added some washi tape, some die cuts, some fuss. That bird's actually from my birds and bees journal and I cut out the remainder of what I had on that sheet. Uh, so I thought just add it there, sort of blend it in. I've used the sentiments on this one, which I love and thought it went perfectly because favorite colors are autumn shades, definitely this time of year. And then on the front, You've got a beautiful decorative bit here. This is just um, embroidery on glaze. It was quite a wide piece. And um, got some of my lace there. Some sari ribbon that I found that blended in. And just a bit of the little um, zigzag trim here. Right. Then these beautiful crochet flowers I got from a store on Etsy. Um, I'll write down the store's name. It was a long time ago, so it has eluded me. Um, and then I've put in some of my, what are these called again? The silk autumn flowers, you know, the leaves. So I have put those in there. So just lay that up. You've got a lovely, um, I did sew around this one. You don't have to. Uh, I've got the inside of the, the page there. This is a great place to store lots of goodies. And then when you put it into your journal, you just put your page in there, put it on like that, and you can paper clip it on in place. So it's a floating envelope. All right, so that's that one. And then on the Christmas one, done very similar, just with different bits. I've used a scrap from my Christmas tulle with the snowflakes. Um, these are all scraps, actually. <laughs> and this is the red that you get in my fabric bundle, as well as this. And then you... Um, I've put some sari, some green sari there, 
it was automatically stained with a bit of red but that's fine because there's red in here i put some of that same green um curly trim there and then i've just put some lace crocheted lace underneath here so that's that flap decorated and it looks lovely when you you put it onto a page on this one i've made a little rosette with the lace from the the lace pack um, that is a simple thing to do. I've taken three inches of ribbon, so about nine to ten centimeters or there or thereabouts. I've just taken my normal needle and thread. Let me grab one here. And all you do is you just do a little running stitch along the top of the thread. You pull it all up. Obviously, you need a knot at the end, so it's all gathered. I've just turned it around, made a little rosette and stuck it down. I made a little stitch to keep it in place. I've taken one of the buttons from my button packs and I've sewn it on there and then just used a bulb pin. And this came from a clothing thing actually. I couldn't find my nice brass ones, they're somewhere. Um, and then I've just put on one of those little enamel charms. So there we go, that's the flap. And then used those little tag you know that what we did the other day they're still on my desk here these the last video i've taken one of these little tags um because i wanted this to be an envelope full of cheer <laughs> so all those lovely photographs or bits and pieces or message you know the tags that you get on the gifts i like to keep those especially um from special people and i like to keep them with their message in there um so that's really nice and then I've just fussy cut out here, you know, all those bits and pieces uh, from the pages that I said you should do. You know, homework, homework, homework. So the bauble page um, and the page with, so the, the ones that look like the fabric, really. I've cut out the elements and put them in here. All right, so that's what I've done there. So I've stuck on that tag from the uh pockets and tags the advent ones I've just stuck that on there I like the the font and just laid up a couple of goodies there and then on the other side we had this beautiful image and I didn't want to cover that either because it was from a December page as well um so I got the birds there with these uh, flowers which I don't know what they're called <laughs> And then I've just stuck another one, gladness and cheer, to link with the cheer, really, here. And, you know, that's going to look lovely. I, I was quite happy with that. So there we have two of those. So I thought we can make some of those as well. Now, you don't have to use exactly what I have, guys. You know, go and have a look at what you have in your stash. If you've got nylon lace, if you've got crocheted lace, if you've got sari ribbon scraps, whatever you have, go and have a nice look there and see what you can come up with. All right, so we're going to start now with uh, another page oops i've got it all gathered here so this page is another one from the edith holden this is not the same one this is the the, the printer printed page it doesn't have a number because i'd give it to you if it did so i've taken that out the book and i what i like to do is when i'm going to um possibly see that there's a one-way design which it really is this way i don't go and fold the flap from the top i fold the flap from the bottom all right so it's one and three quarter inches uh the flap so that's four centimeters there and i fold that over so that that's upright okay and then um uh this is four inches down there so that's uh 10 centimeters then i fold this up Whatever your measurements, because your book pages will be different, um, you want to just make sure that that sort of flaps over a little bit. You don't want that to be up there. You want it to flap over. So however it looks right to you is fine. All right. And again, uh, this is nice autumn image, and I quite like all of those colors. So I'm quite happy with that. If we were looking at um, a page like this where there's not really anything on here i would go and tear some scraps and collage on here that's what i would do okay so don't be worrying about oh i don't have any of those edith holden pages go and grab what you have make use of what you have my mini pages let me just grab them over here um this is the christmas one so these sort of mini pages 
can take beautiful images um, or even scrap bits and you know collage on a side that has no image at all oh, here's a needle okay so the first thing I do is I fold my pages like this so I've got this one and we're going to do a Christmas one as well so I've got this one for the Christmas one this one I can tell you it was page 170 and it's got the holly on and I thought oh that's we've got to have that all right so again I have folded it from the bottom that's going to be my flap and that's going to fold up like that now it doesn't matter that it looks upside down there or there because we're going to, you know, that doesn't matter. You can do it any way you like, but that's the way I'm doing it. Now, what I'm going to go and do is, and again, this is optional, I'm going to just sew around there, okay? Just give it to sew it down. If you don't want to sew, you can just put some glue over there, glue over there, and stick it down, all right? So either way is going to work. Let me go and do that very quickly, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, so I've stitched around, you can see right around the edges there, and that's the side I was stitching on. But always you get these sort of holes that come up on that side. Now you've heard me say this before, just take a bone fold or back of a, a butter knife and just push those holes down. They like magic, they flatten and you don't see that sort of punctured look on the side. It works a charm. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you look at it now, it's all flat, and you can't hardly see which side you stitched on. Okay, so that, that's what I would recommend there. Now, we'll start with uh, this one here. So, I have taken some of the bits from my autumn ribbon kit. So, um, right, so I'm going to just take this. That's from. Um, this lovely crocheted lace I'm going to stick this on the top here so you can stitch this again if you want uh, there will be a bit that I stitch but it's not this bit so I just want to get some glue down here I'm just using my fabric tack and checking if there's a right or wrong side there is so I'm gonna just get that onto the top here like that Okay, there we go. I do love working with all these scrappy bits and, you know, um, finding little bits in my tray and whatever. Now, here's something that I haven't shared with you before. This is something I bought a while ago from Vanessa, um, and I quite like it. It's like oak leaves on ribbon. And I thought, well, there's some of this in the drawer. I'm going to take it out because I wasn't sure before what to use it for. So, um, you know, I buy these things and then I think, oh, what now? Right. So I thought I would use this and put it on here because it sort of works well. Um, but I also wanted to put down some other bits. So I've got the sari ribbon um, that I'm going to put in the middle here. I don't feel like moving to the machine again, <laughs> as you do, you know. So I'm just going to get some glue stuck down here. This is easier. Um, like that. Gosh, it's getting dark so early, you know. It is only two in the afternoon here. And the sun, or what's the light, the daylight, let's say. There wasn't much sun today. Has disappeared. And it's been disappearing since an hour ago so yeah I might have to put the light on at some point we'll see how we go right so I've got that stuck down there and now I've got this bit this sari so I'm going to put it in the middle here so more glue like that and then I'm going to just and I might end up stitching it we'll see and I think I'm going to stitch it. So I'm sorry for that. So let me go do that quickly. And then I know it's going to lie nice and flat. Okay, so I've just stitched a straight line across there. And I know it's going to lie flat now. And then I'm just going to stick that on over the top. So it's probably like OTT. But I like it. So there we go. So I'm just stitching it on that stitch line. And there is a right and a wrong side for this. 
you know so yeah and that's why my fingers are full of glue <laughs> because I've been holding this down for two envelopes previous like this <laughs> All right, so yeah, and it does want to come up, so you've got to just be patient. So the, the other thing, of course, is you can use your little clips. So I do have them here. So yeah, there we go. I'll just get a couple of those. We might need to squelch it up a bit. I have got other clips here, but I didn't grab enough of them. The, the ones that are slightly longer. Oh, let me just cut off the end of this as well. It's a bit too far out. <laughs> okay, and so we'll just put a bit on here and there. All right, so while that's doing its thing and getting itself sorted, I want to just be mindful of the area I have here, first of all. So what I've done is on this occasion for the autumn one, I'm going to use the bigger um, sentiments. Sorry, I want to just grab my distress ink here. So this one is I can smell autumn dancing in the breeze. The sweet smell of pumpkin and sunburned leaves. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that just the best? I love the smell of autumn. So I'm going to put that just over here like that. And then, as I said to you, um, I'm using a combination of some die cuts I did, um, some of my fussy cuts. So I'm bringing in the yellows and the greens um, on this side. And I'm going to bring in a green leaf and a, and a gold type of little die cut there. So... Um, I'm going to have the green leaf, the, the fussy cut leaves sort of peeking over the sentiment. So I'm just getting the placement of that right. So let's see. Okay, so get my little pencil. And I haven't seen that pencil here on my desk for a while. Where are you? Where are you? And I've got so much stuff on my desk here at the moment because I've got so much going on. You know, I've lost the pencil now, so we'll just have to gauge it right over there. Okay, so let's start here. And I will just speed this up. So I'm going to just stick these down. Okay, so I've got those stuck down. And we can now go ahead and just stick down the sentiment. I was thinking earlier today, what have I learned this year about working from home, you know? And the first thing that came to mind is how many pairs of slippers I've gone through. <laughs> I don't know. When I'm at home, I like to be comfortable. So I definitely take off my shoes and I get my slippers on. And But I go through a lot of pairs of slippers because unless I'm going out or expecting anybody, you know, I don't get out of my slippers. So, you know, and some people, I stay in the slippers. So... <laughs> If I'm in the slippers, if you're visiting me, that means, uh, you know, I'm very comfortable with you. But otherwise, I don't. Yeah, so that's one of the things I definitely learned. I also learned that I saved on a lot of makeup because I haven't worn makeup for months. Uh, very seldom wear it these days because why? You know, uh, I not, don't need to impress anybody. Um, definitely not the postman or anyone like that. So, yeah, there's a few things I've learned. I drink a lot more tea, I will say, <laughs> because I can. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, so that's looking great. These are starting to stick down. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I'm going to turn it over here. And um, I'm going to put down a couple of bits. So um, I've taken, no, that's not the right thing. <laughs> I've lost it now, lost the plot. Oh, here we go. Right, so I've got another little autumn leaf and I've taken a robin from the um, Birds and Bees page. And that's what I'm going to put on the top. Ah, that's what I need. I need another sentiment from my autumn kit here. And I'm going to take one that is going to match with this. I put this somewhere, but I've, I don't know where it is now. Spectacular. Can't go wrong with that. All right, so... We're going to, oh, I know what it was. I stuck it on the other autumn one. Yeah, not losing my mind. 
I'm still okay. Right, so we'll do we we'll put it here because it's a bit green there, and then I'm going to stick the robin. Mm, it'll have to be here. He looks nice there, and then um, I just wanted a little bit of a leaf there as well. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this leaf stuck down. And then we can decorate the front and then one one down, one to go. So just grab your little thing just to see where you need to put these things. I think that works the best for me. Otherwise, I end up noticing that I've stuck it in the wrong place. And I'm sure you do the same. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, what else have I learned from staying at home? Chocolates are definitely my friend. With the tea drinking, I think, um, and because I drink a lot more tea, because as a teacher, you're in the class, you're not allowed to take anything with you. But being at home, you can drink as much tea as you want. So, of course, the, my problem with the tea is, and I love my Red Bush tea or my Roy Bush, um, tea requires a biscuit. So that's my downfall with the tea, you know. So... <laughs> I've had a lot more biscuits this year than I normally would. So that's what I've learned. Okay, let's turn this around. So that's lovely and I love the colours. I wouldn't want to cover that up anymore. I'm going to turn this around now. We can take off these little uh, quilting clips. And that is stuck down nicely now. Yes, it is. And um, then I'm going to show you how I made this little bit over here so I didn't want to bring in an orange leaf because there's not really orange on this very much but there is yellow so I've got the yellow and I'm going to look into my little pile here and I'm going to get one of these um, green leaves so that's that that's my little fussy cut pack from that page of leaves it comes with a background kit for the autumn whisper which is what i'm doing here so i've got this yellow silky leaf and that leaf there and i'm going to glue those down so just going to put some glue on here like that and stick it onto the silk leaf at an angle like that and then i'm going to stick this down onto the flappy bit so yeah Let's hope that this is going to stick nicely. Right, which side do I want it? Doesn't really matter. I think this one, I'll, I'll go here this side this time. So I'm going to get that like that. And we don't want you going quite that far. Let's move you a bit down. Okay, you can do that with Fabri-Tac, can't you? Um, I had one of these bigger clips here. I got this as a gift thank you so much um i'm gonna just hold that down there for a moment now i took another one of these um and i have taken a yellow button and just i like to sew through the buttons and just knot it off um and then i think it looks more finished that way and i'm going to put that in the middle here and i'm going to stick this down now on here so this is why I did this one first <laughs> so we want to get some of this nice fabric glue stuck on here and we'll cover up that bit of the leaf like that and then we can just take our button let's just put it, some glue in there like that and we're going to stick it down over there in the middle and then while I've, I'm waiting and doing the other one, I'm going to just take this whole thing and squash it like that. I did it with a Christmas one, I worked a treat. So, yeah, on these great clamps. I was gifted them from America, so thank you so much. Right, I am now going to move that one just to the side there. And we're going to go on with this Christmas one now. I mean, these you can make in any theme, absolutely any theme at all. I've stitched this one already. So what we want to do is let's start with this side before I get to the front. Right. So this was the one I'm putting one of the little sentiments, spread kindness and love wherever you go. And bringing some red, we've got some holly there and just going to do this. So this is from my sentiments and ephemera kit. So... 
we're working with different kits here at the minute and I'm going to stick that up at the top there all right and then just grabbed a bit of a Christmas um, die cut this is greenery and I wanted it just to be peeking I thought out the top um, like that uh, so it's going to look sort of like that all right so what do I want it at the bottom do I do I yeah let's do that okay so we'll get this one stuck down all right so again we want that there and I want that there looks like um, pine tree leaves okay and then this one can go on the top but of course I did grab oh no that's that's all I want to put there okay so yeah we're going to just stick this down and again lovely Christmas image on the back here so why would you want to cover that up okay so we've got berries Christmas berries and privet and holly of course so there we go and I know that because it says so not that clued up on all the trees I knew the holly but you know I wouldn't have known the privet right so there we go that looks lovely and I'm happy with everything that's it, it there as it is so I'm going to turn this over and again I'm going to start with this top now with this one I've gone a little bit more elaborate I've taken a bit of this um I've got everything stuck together here now <laughs> everything is stuck together um I've got bits kept together here so and I'm going to stick this down so this is some lovely crocheted lace and I'm going to stick that down um, and let me see how far down I want it to go because it's sort of like that right so we'll, we'll get that stuck down and then I will go and uh, put the other two on so I'm going to put a good half inch of glue here of my fabric tack we're going to get this stuck down and just like that and we'll let that do its thing I'm just checking it's sort of straight it looks like it is I'm going to leave that there for a moment and why when I come back I'm going to be taking my Christmas tulle scrappy bit and um, they come this comes in my fabric pack um, and you can get those on my website um, <laughs> I'm going to take my sari ribbon and I'm going to just stitch this down the middle here it's just going to be easier and lie flat you can glue it but let me go and do that and I'll show you what I mean um, and I'll be back here in a moment okay so I have just stitched the two together so I just took the two lay them on top and zigzagged it straight down the middle like that it just sort of keeps the fabric apart and easier to manage for me so I have done that I want to just um, well let's get this stuck down here quickly Right, and then we can stick the, the red vine over the top here, like that. And I love this red vine, it's such a vibrant colour. Beautiful. Right, so that's going to just lift this whole thing. Isn't it gorgeous? Right, so we're going to use the little clamps. These are the clamps I got from Martha. Thank you, Martha. I think she said this comes from one of your thrift stores. I can't remember exactly now. She wrote me lots of lovely notes. Uh, these craft clamps. So um, these are just a little bit longer. So when you can't, and exactly what she said, when you can't get the, the, the quilting clips to um, reach, then these really are handy. And they are so we'll just get these clamped and this is perfect for this there we go so this is doing its thing there and i'm quite happy with that i'm going to now just move that over and focus on this bit here so on the front i'm using another one of these little tags from the little pockets advent pockets and tags i'm using jingle bells for this one and i've just 
um, distressed ink it and I'm going to stick that just over there so I want the holly to show a little bit so mindful of how low that lace is going to be so I'm going to get it there all right so the other thing I've observed while I've been at home this year is um, my dog sleeps a lot my Abby she sleeps all day long it seems I think Abby wakes up for two hours a day and that's just to eat her two, her breakfast and her dinner. And um, <laughs> honestly, she that's it. And then uh, the other thing is for her, she goes to potty outside. But that's about it. The rest of the time, that sweet pea is uh, really, <laughs> she's asleep. And at the moment, she's it looks like she's in hibernation honestly does now i wanted it that side i did and i think it's too late to move so we'll just have to do the best we can right so i've got the little candy cane this i fussy cussed out from um my background pages for the christmas memories journal so that's what that is so i want to just get that up there like that and then We'll get the little holly. This came from the baubles background page as well. So I've got all my little elements in my little pack there. I'm going to go this way. There's a will, there's a way. There's the way. And there's one of the baubles that I've also fussy cut out. So we use lots of these elements all over just to reinforce the Christmas theme. And then bought a bit of red uh, on that side. Okay, so um, we've got that all sorted there, and we've got that sorted there. Um, I've got a little poinsettia that came with my ribbons, so I think it's got a, one of these on, but I, I don't think that's going to help much, but we'll see how we go. Oh, was I going to put, yes, that's what I was going to put, that's why I've got the robin here. Um, the robin is here, and we were going to just add him. You know, you've got to have Christmas robins or, of course, um, cardinals. And I think I've got both of them in my kit. So whatever your preference is. Um, and we're going to just put him over here. There we go. He's just sitting on that leaf strategically. That's why he's there. I wonder why I was looking at this robin the whole time. Okay, first clamp off. <laughs> The Dollar Tree, I think that's what she said she got them from. Am I right, Martha? Okay, so that is stuck down. All right, there we have it. There's our pockets. Look at that. Um, you've got your little place to keep whatever you want in there. And that looks gorgeous. I love it. Um, and there we've got all of that on the back as well. And on this side, we're going to just finish up here now. So I'm going to open these up. I'm going to just, let's take these off first. Really good clips. And um, I'm going to just turn it over because I can see easier. And then I'm going to just cut that off. All of that's going in my scrappy pile because I'm sure it's going to inspire me to make something down the line. And then I'm just cutting that off as well. Now, I don't think anything there is going to inspire me. Looks a bit like an icicle, but I'm going to let it go. <laughs> oh God, I never stop, do I? Right, okay, so we've got all of that there. And I might just end up putting a little bit more glue, but luckily this is much finer. The sari, just to get the sari a little bit more stuck down like that. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I want to put it on this little poinsettia. Um, just like that and I think that that little bit isn't going to do it I'm going to take this off it's fine if it's on paper but not on this so I'm going to do the same thing here and probably put the clip on so let's just get a load of glue on this and I'm going to put it over here like that and just take one of these to keep it in place as you do so there we go All right and that's our project for today so i've got two 
very pretty autumn one so there's our two autumn ones they were going into our journal aren't those lovely with those beautiful autumn shades yeah i love that yeah um and that's what i was going to do i was going to stick that leaf on see i forgot but i might still do it this is let's have a go at that so i think it's this one that we made now when you want to do something like that it's just a case of all right i want to add this little leaf um so all i'm going to do is <laughs> i'm going to cut it straight across so cut it like that and i'm going to stick it like it was meant to be behind there the whole time and who's going to know who's going to know only us right and don't be afraid of using washi tape i'm going to just um tear some off here i'm going to stick it just in this sort of area because it looks a bit bare up here so let's just open that up it'll be easier okay so we're going to put some of the green and then i'm going to overlap it with some of this sort of peach like this there we go and then i'm going to just trim that off with my nice scissors which i shouldn't have done okay and there we have it job done okay so we've got our nice um leaf added on there and i'm going to press that i've got fluff everywhere from the sari we've got our beautiful um flap over there and um, this one that you saw me do and then um we've got a poinsettia which is now um there we go that's better that's a beautiful edge for that christmas envelope isn't it love that and then our other one that i showed you at the start with cheer all right now you can also just add a bulb prim and a charm there if you want just on the side so i might do that we'll see there we go there's our, our four envelopes Go and give that a go and put those into your journals they go in any journal it doesn't matter if you're celebrating spring summer autumn or fall wherever you are uh, it will only be spring or autumn <laughs> but uh, wherever you are but you never know you might be getting ready to do your summer journal long in advance who knows or winter all right everyone go and have a great time crafting some of these for your journals um i am going to see you again on tuesday we're going to have another little video that was this is my fourth video for the week if you've missed any of them go and catch up on the playlists the links are in the description box below or on my youtube channel um and follow along with me it's uh, going to be an absolute fun filled um time now right up until christmas so i'll see you all again on tuesday thank you so much for your support um i love you all see you soon bye